Hello and Namaskar everyone. It's me, Dibya Bhatta, and currently I have been living here in South Korea for pursuing my higher studies. In my YouTube channel, I mainly upload videos about fully funded scholarship and internship opportunities here in South Korea for international students. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press that notification bell so that you will not miss interesting updates in future. In my YouTube channel, you can find a plenty of videos about fully funded scholarship and basically about Korean government scholarship because I'm myself a GKS scholar 2020. So don't forget to check the playlist section of this channel. But today in this video, we'll be focusing on Postco Asia Fellowship, which is a scholarship provided by Postco TJ Park Foundation, which was initially still an iron company's scholarship for the worker of that company. But today, this scholarship is extended to all the Asian students from around the Asia. So, the applications are now open and let's look at this scholarship in detail. The official website is postf.org. So, I'm in the interface of this website and as soon as you open this website, it looks like this. So, when you click on the website, here is the notice for POSCO Asia Fellowship, eligibility, qualification, benefits, schedule and click to apply now. So when you click, click to apply now, this page opens with a notice. So 2024 POSCO Asia Fellowship Recruitment Announcement. And guys, this is only for natural science and engineering major. So basically, this POSCO TJ Park Foundation it wants to support young prospective intellectuals to grow as a global leader through natural science and engineering, masters or doctoral courses in Korea. So they are looking for promising Asian student who will lead the 21st century with POSCO. So now let's look at the eligibility of this program. The number one, applicants who have earned bachelor's degree and so potential to grow as leader in their respective countries. Also, applicants willing to study in Korean graduate school in the spring semester of 2024 and fall semester of 2024. Applicants must have a strong interest in STEM major that is science, technology, engineering and mathematics. Also, applicants must hold Asian citizenship. Who hold citizenship of non-Asian country or Korea are not eligible. The benefits of the scholarship include for master's degree student, tuition and living expenses for four semester is fully covered. For doctoral and integrated PhD students, tuition and living expenses for six months is covered. Apart from that, national health insurance expenses, settlement allowances, online Korean classes and grants etc. are given. Similarly, students also will take part in postco seminar, cultural experiences, etc. So how can they apply? They need to assess the website during the application period that is May 1st to 31st of May 2023. So now only few days remaining till the application deadline and they need to submit the application and require documents via online portal. The schedule of this scholarship include application submission from May 1st to 31st May which is based on the Korean time. Similarly, the result of first round will be announced in the end of July, which is tentative and is likely to change. Similarly, the interview will be conducted in August and result announcement end of August tentatively. Also, applicants need to apply separately to their desired universities. Also, here is a format of recommendation letter. So you need to download this recommendation letter and get it according to this format. So yeah, this is the sample recommendation letter. So it should be either in English or Korean. And this has the two pages. So yeah, this can be maximum of two pages. So yeah, you can get it ready from your supervisor, current supervisor or the your university supervisor. Anyone can fill this recommendation letter and you can just submit it. Apart from that, there are more notices in the website. So yeah, this one is the call for the recruitment. 
Here is also the list of the universities that take part in this Post-Croatia Fellowship. And these universities are in alphabetical order and they do not denote any ranking or preferences. So the universities taking part in this Post-Croatia Fellowship include Iwa Women's University, Hanyang Han University, Kayas, Korea University, Seoul, Kyungi University, Postek, Seoul National University, Shangkyungkong University, and Yonsei University. So these nine universities, they take part in this post Asia Fellowship Program. And note to the applicants that you need to apply separately to this desired university. And you can select up to three university among these nine universities. And if the certificate of admission is not submitted from this university before the semester starts, the fellowship will be cancelled. So yeah, this down one is the recommendation letters format. And similarly, yeah, this is the recruitment form. You need to fill your detail here and then you'll be guided with the process. Similarly, yeah, there are different things you need to fill up. So yeah, yeah, there are many links which you can go and check it out. So stay updated with their website. This is their official website. So yeah, you can get all the details from here. And if you need any information, more information about this, just yeah, visit their website or you can contact them through their email or through their phone number, which is also available in this website. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video till this end. And in the next video, I'll be back with again some interesting informations about scholarship or about life in Korea. If you have any queries, you can feel free to comment them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay productive and see you again soon. Thank you for watching.